Okay, students, I'm so glad that you found this video. So I'm going to give you the information that you need to be able to download student versions of any of the Autodesk software that they make available. So first, I want to make sure you have the website correct. So we're going to www.autodesk.com backslash education backslash student dash software. And that's going to bring you to the web page that we're looking at right here. And I just want to quickly go through this sign up will not take you very long at all. So I'm going to just click the sign in button. And the first time that you come to this menu, you're going to need to click here, need an educational account. So I'm going to click here and I just wanted to show you what you're going to need to fill in. So you see right here, we're just putting in the country, birth date, our education status for you to be student. I've kind of filled this out based on my faculty status, first name, last name, create an ID, email. I do want to point out to you, if you don't use your EDU address, you could potentially be asked to provide documentation that you are in fact a student, uh, but you don't have to use an EDU address. I prefer it because it leaves no, uh, I don't have to go back and document that I am a faculty member or a student, whatever have you. Uh, then you're just going to go through create, create a password, the terms here, and click next. That's it. At that point, it's going to bring you, let me go ahead and sign in for you. So I'm just going to hit sign in. I have all my information stored here. Now you'll see it changes to my name and logs me entirely all the way in. Now let's look at a couple of things here because I do want to make sure this is clear. For one, if you're a secondary student, so you do have to be at least 13 years old um, to get this free software for, it's a three year license if you just use what Autodesk gives you for free here. Otherwise, you click here for college or university um, students, you click here. So I'm gonna start there, and then you'll see that it brings up our free software for students. So by default, the most popular ones are gonna appear here, but they're also sorted, sorted and uh, filtered here by discipline as well. So the architecture, engineering, and construction is the discipline that I'm going to focus on and you'll see right here many of the programs that we'll use and I hope to start uploading some tutorials on 3ds max design as well as a few other uh, pieces of software on here but you'll see the primary software that we're using here which is the Revit here so if I just click on Revit for example and you'll now see when I come down on this list after you've signed in the second step I'll select the version uh, that I wanted to use. So I'm going to use the 2014 version and here I'll click English and then Windows is my operating system. And now you'll see Revit, it'll give me my serial number and product number that uh, they automatically assign me now that I'm in that educational community and I can click install now and it will install, but you will need to write down the serial number and the product key so that you can put those in to activate the software once it has downloaded to your C drive or whatever drive you plan to install the program to. Um, for those of you that already have downloaded, I do want to point out the Revit extensions that I'm going to start to create tutorials on. Those are also available. You can download those here as well. And it's a similar process. You just continue to come back here and you can download any of the Autodesk free software that you see on this list. Now, the other piece that I also want to point out to you while we're still here is this license is good for three years. And after that point, this license kind of goes, goes away for you um, unless you still maintain your student status and you can reapply. But if you want to get a copy of this software, I want to point out right here and under the building design suite, if you're not aware already, there are subscriptions available, but since we're still students, what I want to do is just show you what's available to you um, for a very low cost. If you're interested in a little bit more than just the discounted student software right here, if I click on that. So here's what it brings us to. We now have, I want to buy and you'll see 
This is $150. And that includes shipping. And this is going to allow you to keep your perpetual license long after you've graduated. This is something you might want to consider if you know that there may be some time between your schooling and the time when you get a job and you'd like to keep a copy of the Revit software and even the other Autodesk programs, AutoCAD, 3D Studio Max. It is important and sometimes I know students find it difficult to to still have a license after you're a student that you can use for your own personal use. Now this is not for commercial, so you cannot do for profit work with the license, but you can still keep yourself um, current. Something to consider, and I just wanted to point it out to you here. But please do not delay. Go ahead, download the program, even if you're using it at school in a computer lab. And I just wanted to make sure that each one of you were aware of the steps that you need to take. Have a great day. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Smarter Architect YouTube channel. Thank you.